hey everybody in this video we're gonna be covering that how to convert a binary tree into a linked list or how to flatten a binary tree into a linked list so here is the given binary tree and we have to convert this binary tree into a linked list that will look something like this also one more thing that it is written in the question that you have to convert this binary string in place and that means you are not allowed to create a linked list and simply traverse to the list and put the values in the linked list you actually have to convert this tree itself into the you know linked list so basically this is not a linked list actually this is you know a tree itself where all the nodes the left sides of the nodes points to the null so here we have a tree 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 here okay so we will set the pointer to the you know node that has you know that don't have a grandchildren so if the node is here we know there are no grandchildren because they their you know childs are pointing to null so this two node doesn't have a grandchildren okay now here we will declare a temp variable or temp node that store the right side of the pointed node so here 2 is the pointed node and the right side of this node is here 4 so temp will store the node 4 now the step is we will simply shift the left side of the pointed node to the right side so this 3 will be shifted to the right side so it will look something like this 1 2 and 3 here because 3 is shifted to the right side now here is the pointer this pointer will traverse to the extreme right and will put the temp variable to the right side so temp variable is 4 it will move to the extreme right that is here and put the 4 now 5 and 6 here okay we have this tree now pointer is shifted to here now okay now pointer is at the 1 so the right side of this pointed node is we will store the right side of this so here 5 is the right side okay not just 5 I am repeating not just 5 it is actually the reference so we have to take all the nodes of the right side that is 5 linked to 6 we have to store this particular you know subtree into the temp variable so this is stored into the temp variable now what we had done we had shifted the left side of the pointed tree pointed node to the right side so this will be shifted to the right side so we got one here and two three four is shifted to the right side we got two we got three and we got four now here is the pointer again we traverse the right extreme that is here the 4 is the right extreme and we will simply insert the temp we got 5 and we got 6 so this is our resultant you can say a linked list or a tree with no left child and we will simply set all the left child to the null so this was our algorithm okay so here we have our code here we have flatten function or flatten method that takes node as an input this node is basically the root of the binary tree now if node is null then simply return now if node dot left and node dot right is null that is there is only root and nothing in the left and right subtree so in that case simply return okay now here is the main case if node dot left is not equal to null in that case pass the left side of the root into the same function that is recurse node dot left okay now here we have our main uh, code that simply you know swap the values that is here we have a temp node which will help us to swap right and left subtree so we will store the right side of that is node dot right into the temp node that we have discussed in the algorithm and node dot right is set to the node dot left okay so we have also discussed this in the video and node dot left is simply set to the null that is 
left side of that particular node will point to the null so in the in now we have simply changed or swapped our left and right subtree but the left one is set to the null okay now here we have a current node and it's set to the node dot right this will basically help us to traverse to the extreme right of that subtree which we have also discussed in the algorithm now while current dot right is not equal null current is current dot right so this line is basically for traversing to the right extreme now since we are out of the loop that means we are at the right extreme now we will simply set that temp node to the current dot right so here as you can see current dot right is sent is set to the temp node now again simply do the same with node dot right so that's it this is the code so that's it for this video if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more coding interview problems see you in the next video